everybody. Uh, it's the day after Labor Day. Uh, um, does that mean I'm not supposed to be wearing this white shirt? Uh, I think we're okay. Let's just get straight to the video. Okay, today I want to do a quick, throw a question out there to you guys and see what kind of feedback we get from y'all. Um, <clears throat> I've kind of talked about this in the past with other people, and Barris brought it up think a week ago about what he called domino theology. Um, dominoes is a term that I like to use when um, all of your Christian doctrines that were all set in place for you uh, and then when you started understanding the gospel of peace and the gospel of grace in whatever order you started understanding it and it knocked over a domino which subsequently made another domino fall and then another domino fall and then until all your dominoes fell. And um, in my case, it was coming to understand uh, the gospel of grace, where the law was abolished, um, and then dealing with the whole issue of um, the idea of good and evil. And then I got I started understanding when the judgment of the world was and the gospel of peace, that God would no longer be angry in the new covenant, and of course, then the redemption of the world. So all my dominoes kind of went in that order. And Mike, they were a slightly different order. His started with the gospel of peace, which led into the gospel of grace. It added, uh, you, you get the picture, right? Because I've always wondered, what domino would it be that could make anybody's um, fall over? And, and I have not found that. In four years, I've been looking for the domino that will make everybody's dominoes tip over. So I'm putting the question out there to gospel revolutionaries. And let's see what you guys think. Is there a domino that, is, that works for you when you're dealing, talking to people about the gospel? Um, what was your domino? And uh, let's find out what your dominoes were. And if anybody, anybody thinks they know what the domino is that will make anybody's dominoes fall, please let us know. So I'm looking forward to your feedback. Please, please reply in any way, shape, or form. Email, telephone call, YouTube comment. Facebook comment, whatever it is, please uh, participate. And to all of you gospel revolutionaries, have a revolutionary week.